Wouldn't you just love to go on a cruise even once in your life, just sipping cocktails and enjoying all sorts of fun games and activities while sailing through different parts of the world, just as long as you don't get stranded? And hey guys, just because we're stuck in the middle of the ocean with, you know, no working toilets, doesn't mean we can't have some fun, all right? <laughs> but what if I tell you that things are happening on board that not many people know about? All hands on deck as we uncover these 11 secrets cruise ships don't want you to know. What's up, Acnetics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. Our number one pick is proof that you can never be too prepared, especially when you're in the middle of the ocean. So stay tuned for that. Ta da! <laughs> Not just a cruise, it's Tom's cruise. Number 11. There's a morgue on board. Life can be so unpredictable that you never know if that dream vacation you're enjoying right now might be your last. As morbid as it may sound, yes, deaths do happen on board cruise ships. Reported deaths aboard cruise liners are usually due to natural causes such as old age, which isn't surprising considering most of the vacationers are seniors. With an average of 200 deaths per year worldwide, cruise ships are required to have body bags and a mortuary. The morgue, usually located in an area away from passenger access, is where the remains are stored until the ship reaches a port. The corpse will then be disembarked and arranged to be sent home. Cruising with dead bodies may be scary, but it's not nearly as terrifying as our number one pick. Number 10. There's a jail cabin, too! Ahoy there! Welcome aboard! With countless parties, a steady supply of booze, and thousands of loaded passengers on board, cruise ships could be a playground for troublemakers. Aside from petty brawls and theft, there are also more serious crimes that happen on cruise ships. In 2016, about two-thirds of all the reported crimes at sea were related to sexual assault. Of course, cruise liners can't just let these offenders roam around the crowded decks and cabins. Lawbreakers will find themselves locked up in a jail cell called the Brig, which is usually just a small room with a mattress. Instead of enjoying their vacation, they'll be stuck behind bars until they get turned over to the port authorities. Carefully take out your weapon, holding the butt with two fingers only. Number 9. People have fallen over. Cruise ships are secured with high guardrails to prevent people from falling over, but unfortunately, it still happens. Around 19 people go overboard each year, but it's not because cruise ships are unsafe. The rare few who manage to find themselves falling to their demise are usually due to accidents or horseplay, like, say, jumping between balconies or climbing on railings. The chances of surviving from falling overboard are so low that an estimated 85 to 95 percent reportedly result in death. One of the few people who fell off a cruise ship and lived to tell the tale is this woman named Sarah Kirby, who slipped over her stateroom balcony in the middle of the night. She managed to tread for 90 minutes before rescuers came for her. I felt hopeless. Helpless and hopeless. It's pitch black out there. There's no land. There's no lights. Because of this, some ships are equipped with infrared alarms that go off when a passenger falls overboard. Number 8. Secret Codes there's always something happening somewhere around the ship, but there's a possibility that the person in charge is at the opposite end. So how do they relay the message without disturbing the passenger's holiday mood? Secret codes. Detonator. Detonator where? Here's your cheat sheet to cruise ship codes which may come in handy on your next trip. When they say 3030, it means they're asking maintenance to clean something up. If it's followed by the code PVI, then there's a public vomiting incident. Other more severe codes include Alpha for a medical emergency, Bravo for fire, Charlie for a security threat, 
Oscar when someone fell overboard, Echo for a possible collision, and Kilo means all crew members must rush to their emergency posts and get ready for an evacuation. Typically, when there's an emergency, usually the alarm will go off first, and then following that, the guests are given instructions on what they need to do. Number seven, outbreaks are not uncommon. It's pretty difficult to contain the spread of contagious disease while on board, what with all the close quarters and shared dining spaces. Remember the Diamond Princess cruise ship which had to be quarantined off the coast of Yokohama, Japan due to the COVID outbreak? I opened the door. They were there with gowns and masks and gloves. And that's when it hit home. But before COVID-19, it was the norovirus that hounded cruise liners like the Royal Caribbean and Emerald Princess. Instead of enjoying the fun amenities and gobbling up delicious food, those who got the infectious bug had to suffer through diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach cramps while at sea. So a ship is a semi-closed space. It's also designed so that people can get from one place to another quite quickly. There are a series of corridors and lifts and staircases. To help avoid further outbreaks, the U.S. Health Department required ships to have a detailed outbreak prevention plan. So if the crew starts reminding everyone to wash their hands often, you should definitely listen. Number six, read the fine print. A lot of people book their dream cruise months early in order to get the best deals. However, there are times when things don't go as planned and you have to cancel that vacation. And to make things worse, you might not even get a full refund. Get me the manager right now. Some cruise liners have a minimum cancellation charge, while others depend on how many days prior you canceled the trip. The closer to the travel date, the bigger the charge. For some cruise companies, even changing the guest name is counted as a cancellation, so better read the fine print before you book that vacay. Number five, no such thing as all-inclusive. Contrary to what some cruise packages might have you believe, the all-inclusive rate usually doesn't include everything. So make sure to consider so-called hidden costs such as tips, drinks, shore excursions, internet access, casino, and food in specialty dining areas because these are actually how cruise ships earn. Although most gym facilities are free to use, those special classes might set you back around 10 bucks per session. And unless you booked a luxury cruise, spa and salon services also have additional charges. Yeah, man. It's called the Suge Knight. What the? Oh, ah, we all done here. Number four, the ship can leave you behind. One of the most heartbreaking things you don't want to experience on your trip is getting left behind by the ship. And best believe, no amount of waving and arm flailing would make the captain turn around. Give yourself a 90-minute rule. The 90-minute rule is when they tell you the ship is sailing at 6, get back at 4.30. The only way you'll catch up is by reaching the next port of call before the ship does. Just to be on the safe side, if you want to explore a stopover destination, better carry around your passport, travel documents, cash, and credit cards, and maybe a reliable watch, too. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. They left him. Hey. He's got his family. No! No, no! Number three, flags of convenience. A lot of cruise liners are owned by American or British corporations. However, their ships are usually registered in foreign countries. You might be confused why they do this, but it's actually a business tactic, so they don't have to follow their home country's strict rules. These ships, which fly flags of countries they were registered in, are called flag of convenience ships. That's right, a cruise line named after Norway, <laughs> operates ships from the Bahamas with headquarters in Florida. It is the Rachel Dolezal of companies. Cruise liners prefer this because foreign countries, especially developing countries like Bermuda, Panama, or the Bahamas, usually have less strict regulations. They tend to be more lax when it comes to environmental laws, liberal employment, and safety laws compared to the US and the UK. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I see that. Number two, dumping into the ocean. 
with all those people living and eating on board the ship, one would wonder where they dispose of their waste. And yes, some of the trash does get dumped into the ocean. Oh my god! Oh, stop! <laughs> Maritime laws have strict regulations on what can and can't be discarded into the water. Sewage, for instance, can be pumped out in international waters. Most cruise ships have advanced wastewater treatment systems, so it's highly likely that only treated sewage ends up in the ocean. On the other hand, food waste is usually crushed and turned into a liquid substance before being thrown out. Water used during showers and dishwashing is also treated before it's dumped into the high seas. However, waste like toxic chemicals and recyclable materials should be disembarked in ports of call. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, pirates can attack them. You might have heard of pirates attacking ships and holding them for ransom. These maritime thieves usually go for cargo ships, just like what happened to Captain Phillips. Four pirates on board, four pirates coming towards us down the main deck. However, a daring few have been brave enough to seize massive cruise ships. Over the last decade, there were six attempts on record, including the attack on MSC Melody in April of 2009. Although this only happens very rarely, cruise liners are not taking any chances. Ships are well equipped for possible pirate attacks. Let's just say there are more uses for fire hoses other than extinguishing a fire. Aside from that, any movement in the area can also be easily monitored. Regular crew members undergo intense training for pirate attacks, and some vessels also conduct safety drills just like this one. We need all guests to immediately move away from rooms with windows and balconies. So, which of these hush-hush cruise ship facts surprised you the most? Tell us about it in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Craving more sleuthing? Then don't miss our ranking of the eight most mysterious missing person cases ever. Till then, keep calm and cruise along, Factnatics, and see you in the next video.